Today we will cover how the typical manufacturing process is completed in Markov. Manufacturing in Markov is completed through the batching and packaging programs. The batching programs when executed create the bulk product, whereas the packaging programs when executed specify how the bulk produced will be packaged for sale. Creating a batching order. To create a batching order, you must first have published a batching recipe. The recipe is how the system knows what ingredients will be required for the order and what information to populate on the batch sheet. Unpublished recipes will not appear as a choice. Open the batching order program, which can be accessed through the home screen. Select New to create a new batching order, and then select the product you wish to create. Once saved, the system will display how much of the required ingredients you have in stock. The initial yield, weight, and volume will be set to the quantity of the recipe. Changing any of those values will cause the others to change accordingly. The ingredients required to complete the order are recalculated to satisfy the new yield. On the day you are ready to physically produce the batch, select the Release Order button. This is the virtual equivalent of physically handing over the batch ship to the operator. Once released, the order cannot be edited and inventory will be committed to the order. Review training materials for more information on creating a batch order. Batch Execution Batch execution is the process by which you record the processing of your batch. Batch execution is the process by which you record the processing of your batch. This will include the materials consumed and the subsequent product created. Note, only a released batch order can be executed. Open the batch execution program. Enter the relevant batching order for processing using either the find or the open option. Select the add receipts icon to start the process of recording ingredients that were consumed on the order. Scan the barcode of each container that was added to the order. The receipt column represents the amount of said ingredient consumed. By default, this column is filled with the required quantity. However, this can be edited to represent the true consumed amounts. You can create multiple receipts, each with partial actuals against the same batching order. You can always reverse the receipts and create new ones with the corrected quantities. If final testing has been specified for the item, the testing information is provided in the testing tab. Select the Create Sample Set button to create a sample set for the final testing of the batch. The required sample labels will be generated. Follow the steps required to enter test results. Note that testing cannot be started if no receipts have been done. Once the testing has been completed and the sublot approved, the bulk product can be packed out. Select the Packout tab. The upper table lists the packout requests of the bulk. The lower table will list any packouts that have been completed on the order. Select the Packout button to begin recording the materials yielded from the batch. You can define the container type, the weight bulk material in said container, and the number of containers if multiple containers with the same weight are produced simultaneously. Select Save to create the packages specified. The new container labels are then generated. Print the labels as required. Once printed, the packaging form disappears and the new container will be listed in the bottom grid. Once all packaging has been completed, Select the Mark Order Complete button. Once an order has been marked complete, no further actions can be recorded against the order. The item can now undergo transformation into its cell packaging. Creating a packaging order. Just like a batching order, a packaging order can only be created for published packaging recipes. Adjusting the yield will change the required ingredients accordingly. Once released, the order cannot be edited and inventory will be committed to the order. Review training materials for information on creating a packaging order. Packaging execution. Open the package execution program. Select an order for processing using either the find or the open option to record the materials consumed and created. Before any packaging can be completed, the containers you will use for the materials must be reserved to the order. To reserve the material to the order, scan the containers with the materials needed for the order. The materials tab. The upper grid shows a list of all the materials and the respective quantities required to complete the order. The lower grid lists the containers of materials that are currently reserved to the order. Select the Packaging tab. This will list any containers that have been recorded as packed out or completed on the order. Select the Packout button to begin recording the materials created. You can define the container type, the amount of packaged material in said container, and the number of containers if multiple containers with the same quantities are produced simultaneously. Select Save to create the packages specified. The new container labels are then generated. Print the labels as required. Once printed, the packaging form disappears and the created containers will be listed in the packaging tab. Repeat as necessary.
If there is testing for the item, select the Create Sample Set button to create a sample set. The required sample labels will be generated. Follow the steps required to enter test results. Once packaging has been completed, mark the order complete. This will automatically generate the return to stock program. This window lists all the containers currently reserved to the order. The return quantity is automatically calculated based on the usage of the packages that have been created. However, the return quantity column can be edited to represent the true quantity of materials that will be returned to stock. Once completed, the containers will be automatically unreserved, making them available for use on other orders. This completes the manufacturing process. The materials were batched and packaged for sale. Now they are ready to be sold to customers. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next Markov video tutorial.